Okay, so kind of a uh, interesting video for today. Uh, some of you may not know, but I have a heart problem. I actually have mitral valve prolapse. And I've had it since I've been seven days old. Uh, I had a heart attack at seven days old. Not years, days. So before I get into this, there's going to be two annotations at the bottom of this video you can click. Uh, one is going to jump ahead of the long, lengthy explanation of this and just go to Cliff Notes version. And the second one is going to take you to what I would like your guys' help on. And no, it's not donations of money or anything like that. So anyways, long story version. Um, I had a heart attack at seven days old. And why I had this was because I had a blood clot in my heart. And that, you know, stopped up my blood flow and that led to a heart attack. To this day, doctors have no explainable reason why I had the blood clot. Both my mom and my dad's side of the family have no family history of heart disease. Um, I was a baby, so clearly it couldn't have been from like obesity or anything like that. Uh, my parents didn't smoke, do drugs, drink, any of that, so there was no like secondhand exposure from smoke from my dad or anything like that, you know. Uh, no accidents. My parents didn't get in any, you know, uh, ac my mom didn't get in any sort of an accident, you know, like getting kicked in her womb or punched or something like that, you know. So it's really no explainable reason why I had this at all. The doctors have no idea. They have a few ideas, but they're just rough guesses and they don't really make much sense. So anyways, um, as you can see though, I'm 25 years old now and I'm, you know, I play drums, I ski, I do sports, I bowl, I'm, I'm in pretty good shape, you know. So the thing is, is the doctors, first of all, didn't even expect me to live through the initial heart attack. They told my parents flat out he's going to be dead, period. No way we can save him. This is 1985, you know, what the fuck, you know, etc. But the thing is, though, is I obviously made it from that, and I never had any open heart surgery. I never had any surgery to deal with this problem. I've never been on ACE inhibitors or beta blockers, and the only thing I've ever taken was digoxin for about 16 years, and I took CoQ10 for about two years just as a supplement, and the doctors didn't even prescribe that. And so, uh, by all means, doctors are completely baffled by how well I've done with this. Um, like, for example, I took a stress test when I was about 21 years old, which is when they expected me to start like dropping off and start getting really weak. They actually expected that throughout my whole life, that I would be very physically uh, like weak, I wouldn't be able to play sports, I'd be basically like confined to you know sitting at home and not being able to do anything, stuff like that. And... Uh, so they're completely mystified at that. But I had a stress test when I was about 21 years old. And what that is, is when you get on a treadmill and you, they put a snorkel in your mouth that has uh, technology in it that tests breathing and like lung capacity and all this stuff, you know? And uh, I had a little clamp on my finger that tests like my heart rate and stuff like that. And then I just ran on the treadmill. And they test you, they rank you from zero to 30. A 15 is basically like you're a heart attack patient and you are like, you know, you're not going to be able to be physically active. A 20 is an average, in shape, uh, healthy adult male, and a 30 is like Lance Armstrong. You're fucking He Man, you're the Hulk, you know, you are just like, you could bicycle up and down here from Canada to New York to just bicycle right across the ocean to Japan if you wanted, you know, you, you're unstoppable. And on the test, I got a 22, which means with a heart problem, since I've been seven days old, I scored better than a healthy adult male. So the doctors, again, couldn't explain that one. Um, I'm not saying the doctors are, you know, unadept at what they're doing. I'm trying to point out here, like, these are doctors from Stanford, from colleges all over the, you know, world and stuff like that, who've looked at my condition and who have no idea what to make of it, you know, like world-renowned doctors that are just completely baffled. And so, uh, something else, the main, the main uh, negative of the heart problem is that it is constantly pushing epinephrine into my body from an allergic reaction because I have a scar on my heart from the initial heart attack, as emo as that sounds, but I have a scar on there and so what the body is doing is an allergic reaction in trying to heal that is incorrectly pumping epinephrine into my body. And so it's also doing this is it's not so much doing it as a reaction to the scar as it is doing it to compensate for the fact that there's a scar on my heart. It's doing it uh, to compensate so that my heart doesn't have to work as hard. My heart's actually enlarged. And so the epinephrine, the term most people use for that is adrenaline. So basically I have adrenaline in my body 24 seven, which is slowly uh, fraying and corrupting my blood vessels and so forth, or at least it should be. And the thing is, is um, 
I'm not, I'm not like, you know, the Flash. I'm not like, you know, Wah! I can move like super fast or whatever, or like, you know, calculate stuff at like warp speed constantly because I have like, you know, epinephrine in my body. I've mainly grown a adjusted to it. Sort of like, uh, you know, when you have a health condition, your body compensates for it and tries to return you to being normal as possible. And that leads me into the whole point of this video, is that my doctors now say, you know, it might be a good idea to go on ACE inhibitors or beta blockers, but they don't even know anymore because I don't follow the medical standard whatsoever anymore. I'm completely like, you know, out into outer space in terms of like how uh, anomalous my condition is, how much my condition doesn't make sense. And so doctors have basically agreed I'm a complete freak in nature, that by all means, I should not be athletically strong. I should be getting weaker, but yet I'm stabilized and they just, they can't explain it. And so what, uh, what, what is important about this is that clearly there's something in my body that is fighting this off, that is preventing me from growing weaker and growing uh, unstable and having a really terrible time doing anything athletic and so forth. And so uh, that leads me into what I would like to get help from you guys on. And real quick, I'm going to do a Cliff Notes version. So if you jumped here, then here's the Cliff Notes version. Had a heart attack at seven days old due to a blood clot that's of unexplainable origin. Uh, doctors have no idea why I had it. I have never had surgery for this condition. I have never taken ACE inhibitors or beta blockers. I took Dujoxin for about 16 years. I'm 25 years old now on a stress test. With 20 being an average adult healthy male, I scored a 22. And that's again with a heart condition. I've been stable over the past four or five years with my heart condition. It hasn't gotten any worse whatsoever. Doctors are at a complete loss as to explain why this is happening. And these are world-renowned doctors, like known for heart, you know, studies, for heart uh, doctors, everything like that. They're, they know their shit. And so uh, I'm completely anomalous as far as medicine goes. And doctors have now confirmed that I'm basically a a complete uh, one, the only, I'm the only person in human history to have had a heart attack that young and be this healthy 25 years later. Every other person that's had a heart attack that young in human history has been severely crippled, severely weakened, had uh, brain damage, you know, been unable to function in society whatsoever, uh, died at a very young age, definitely wasn't able to like play sports as well, you know, and not as well, but as an athletic shape as I am, any of that stuff. So. Yeah, it's a complete anomaly. So uh, I don't want pity for this. I don't want people to send me money. I don't want people to, you know, like, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I want to be treated as a normal person. You know, I don't, uh, I don't take the easy way out, you know. I used to do Taekwondo and stuff like that, and I would never, you know, like the, the uh, instructors would be like, oh, do you need to take a break because of your heart problem? Like, no, I don't want to do that, you know, and everything like that. And I'd actually usually outlast most of the people in the class athletically during like the uh, end exercises. I mean, I did like 100 push-ups, 400 sit-ups, stuff like that, like no problem. And some of the higher belts were pretty like dead. But uh, anyways, this is the point where I'm going to explain what I'd need your guys' help on if you jump to this. Although if you jump to this, I'd still advise you at least look at the Cliff Notes thing so you know why this makes sense that I'm asking this. There's a dude in Australia who has the cure for rhesus disease, as silly as that sounds, it's actually not spelled the way you're thinking, in his blood. He's a complete anomaly too. So he got a test done, he was just giving blood, and they tested his blood, and it turns out he had the cure for this disease, and he saved like millions and millions of babies worldwide with it. Because they didn't have a really reliable cure on it, or for it until then. So what I would like to do is something similar. <clears throat> Doctors have basically agreed that I'm a complete anomaly, like I said before, and that something in my body, whether it's my DNA, whether it's my blood, whether it's my genetic structure, whether it's my environment, whether it's something I'm eating or the way I'm living my life, something like that is causing me to be extremely resilient to a heart disease that should by all means completely cripple me and I should be dead by now. I should have been dead like 10 years ago. So what I like to ask you guys is if any of you know a doctor or a nurse or a physician or a scientist or anything like that who would possibly be interested in doing tests on me of whatever kind, so long as they don't like, you know, have to kill me or something like that, obviously, uh, tell them about this video. 
link them to this video, give them the Cliff Notes version, something like that, and let them know I'm up to have testing done on me. Because if I do have something like that that can be extracted uh, without killing me or something like that, you know, and can be synthesized much like they did to the Australian guy's blood, uh, I'd love to have that happen. I don't want to be rich because of it. I don't want to, you know, uh, I'm not in this for personal gain or something like that. I'm not in it to be famous. I want to have it. I want to do these tests because, you know, it's like my doctor said, and I quote, he basically said, advances in science are sometimes pushed forth by the one person in billions or the one person in history that doesn't react anywhere close to what we expect from a disease. And that's true. So, you know, who knows when the next person is going to come along in human history who can survive a heart attack at seven days old and then be playing drums and skiing and everything else at 25 with no surgery, no ACE inhibitors, no beta blockers, nothing. You know, who knows when that's going to happen. And so I like to do whatever I can to hopefully, uh, if there is something like that in my body, to have it uh, synthesized and possibly save, you know, millions of people, billions of people, or make their lives easier. Some new, better form of an ACE inhibitor or a beta blocker, you know, something that's more powerful and more accurate at uh, fixing the condition with less damage to the body. You know, you never know. And so that's basically what I'm asking you guys. If you go to uh, medical forums, if you have connections with anybody in the medical industry, if you have any way whatsoever to tell doctors or forward this to doctors or physicians or scientists or whatever else, please do so and uh, tell them to message me on my YouTube account or ask them to email me at my email. It's desmondac at gmail.com and that's D-E-Z-M-O-N-D, -E the letter A, the letter C at gmail.com, no spaces, and it's also in my YouTube profile underneath email, and in this video it's in the email thing too, and just let them know. I'd be totally willing to do this. So, um, so that's the video, basically. Uh, I don't really know what else to say besides that, but um, it's been pretty interesting having this.